Hi guys, so let's see the question number six of RMO 2025 KV. So in this question we have given that we have a sequence A0, A1 up to so on. A0 is 49 and AN is related to AN minus 1 in this form. For N greater than or equal to 1, show that sum of digits of AN sphere is N sphere plus N plus 7 for all N greater than or equal to 0 where SM denotes the sum of digits in the base 10 representation of a known integer, no negative integer M. So here S M represents sum of digits. So we have given this is AN. Okay. Now let's try to figure out first few values of uh, A0, like A0 is given, that is A0 is uh, 49. If we go for a1, a1 is 10 power 2 into 49 minus 1, which is 4900 minus 1, which is 4989. Sorry, 4899. Right? If we go for a2, it is a1 into 10 power 4 minus 1 which is 4899 four zeros minus 1 that will be 489849s so if we observe one thing that the number of digits like in a naught we have a two digits in case of a1 we have a four digits in a2 we have a uh, eight dig digits. So can I say that A zero have a two power one digits? A one has a two power two digits, and A two have a two power three number of digits. So basically, A n has how many digits? Two power n. N plus one. Sorry, A n has two power n plus one digits. And also you can see there is a repetition of a pattern is there like 4, 8, first we have 4, 9, then 4, 8, 9, 9, then 4, 8, 9, 8, then 4, 9, right? So these are the few observations that we can see that digit number of digits and the numbers are, we can see that we can easily form that number, right? So this is about a0, A1, An. Now we have to, we do not have to find out sum of digit of An, we have to find out square of that, right? So let's first try to figure out what is An square. So An square will be equal to A minus B square we can apply. That is 10 power 2 power N, An minus 1, minus 1 square that is a square plus b square minus 2ab so it will become 10 power 2 power n plus 1 a n minus 1 square minus 2 or we can say 20 times not 20 sorry uh, 2 into into 10 power 2 power n a n minus 1 plus 1 right so that is our a n square now sum of as we can see a n square is in terms of a n minus 1 square so we can try to use a induction also means we start means we can say uh, that S A 0 we can say it is true then S A R we can say it is we assume it is true and then prove for A sum of digit of A square R plus 1 that we can do ok but the problem is here that we have a A n minus 1 also and there is a minus sign ok let's uh, as we have to find out the sum of digits so let's try to convert it into a, a decimal form like a n into 10 power n right and something so we need a all terms in a plus sign 
right with the plus sign so first we try to eliminate this subtraction part so for that what i will do i will as we have a a n minus 1 square root 10 power 2 n plus 1 so i am picking 1 10 power 2 n plus 1 to make to add in that to make it a positive number so i just take 1 into 10 power 2 n plus 1 from this number and combine with this number to make it a positive number so let's see will it be positive with this if we see this one is fine if we take 10 power 2 power n common it is 10 power 2 power n minus 2 times a n minus 1 plus 1 right so can we say the second term is positive term like this term it is a how many digit number 10 power 2 power n it is a 2 power n plus 1 digit number and what about 2 times a n minus 1 as we already see that a n has a 2 power n plus 1 digits and a n minus 1 will have a 2 power n digits right a n minus 1 has a 2 power n digits and if i multiply it with a 2 also if you multiply it with a 2 also it still have a 2 power n digits only you can check that from here like a0 is 49 so 2 times of a0 is 98 which is again a 2 digit number a1 if you multiply it with a 2 it will be again be a 4 digit number this is multiplied with a 2 again will be a same digit number so basically a n minus 1 when multiply with 2 will uh, the number of digits will be remain same so means this number has a how many digits 2 power n digits so can we say that when we subtract it from here we have still have a, a positive number because it is it has a 2 power n digits and this is 2 power n plus 1 digits so this number is bigger than this number so this becomes a positive number this number becomes a positive number and also and also that will not uh, affect the digits of this number because if you see uh, after the subtraction also when you subtract these two numbers ultimately you will get 2 per n digit number only it is a smallest uh, 2 per n plus 1 digit number if you subtract this number you will get a 2 per n digit number right so 2 per n digit number multiply with this so you have a 2 power n plus 1 digits right you will have 2 power n plus 1 digits and you can see this in this term it has a 2 power n plus 1 zeros after this so means the digits that we get from here will not affect the digits in this number so we can say that sum of digits of a n square is equal to sum of digits of a n minus 1 square plus sum of digits of 10 power 2 power n minus 2 a n minus 1 and uh, plus 1 because the last a n minus 1 square minus 1 sorry and uh, plus 1 because why we are adding 1 because the junior digit will be 1 only the expression that we get the unit digit will be 1 because in the first two terms uh, the last uh, digit is 0 so 0 0 1 it is 1 so we can say sum is this now we want to prove that s a n square is n square plus n plus 7 and uh, so for that we can use a induction we can assume that it is true for s means we can prove that it is true for s a 0 square that for s a 0 square like what should be a 0 
square from this formula it is 0 square plus 0 plus 7 so it is 7 and if we find out a 0 square which is 49 square which is 2401 and uh, exactly the sum of digit is 7 right so means we can say it is true for a 0 then we can assume for a, a n minus 1 square it is true that is n minus 1 square plus n minus 1 plus 7 so we will try to prove or we have to prove a n square is n square plus n plus 7 now in that part we have to first figure out this value because that we can perfectly put this value we have to further figure out this value that what should be the sum of digit of this number so now we have let's pick this part and let's call it a n which is 10 power 2 power n minus 2 times a n minus 1 so we as a n is this right so and if we put the value of a n minus 1 here in like from this relation that will be 10 2 power n minus 1 a n minus 2 minus 1 so if we simplify that it will be 10 2 power n minus 1 plus 2 so if i take 10 2 power n minus 1 common it will be 10 2 power n minus 1 minus 2 a n minus 2 plus 2 so this is nothing but a n minus 1 right or i can say that sum of digits of a n because this is zero zeros into this number plus 2 sum of digits of a n minus 1 plus 2 so we have a we can see s a n is a ap with a common difference 2 having first term is if we go for the first term that is uh, a1 which is 10 power 2 minus 2 a0 that is 2 so s a1 is also 2 right so s a1 is 2 so we can say that s a n is 2 n now if we put these values here now what is a n minus 1 square uh, okay we have a minus 1 also so i can also say one thing that sum of digits of a n minus 1 square minus 1 is same as sum of digits of a n minus 1 square minus 1 that i can say because I know that the unit digit of this number is not zero okay it is a non zero number and if i sub the sum of digit of this number is same as this number like if i say i have a number 67 so either you find out a sum of digit of 67 and subtract 1 or else you find subtract 1 first and find out the sum of digit that will be same right so why we are saying that it, its unit digit is not zero because you can see the as we already see a1 a2 a3 and so on see they are ending with a 9 right so that is the reason that it cannot be uh, a zero number because if it is zero then there will be a problem like 20 and if i subtract 1 that becomes it is 19 so in that case sum of digits uh, vary but in our case it is not like that it is not zero okay so we can say this also now if i do all the things in this so what i will get n minus 1 square plus n minus 1 plus 7 <coughs> plus 2n and this minus 1 will cancel out with this plus 1 so if we simplify this is n square plus n plus 7 